Blog Talk Radio. Coach on Blog Talk Radio. I'm your host, Edie Summers. And today I have a very special guest who's coming into the studio. Her name is JJ Virgin, and she is a best selling author. And actually, she has a new book out, which we're going to be um, going over on mindset. She's actually known for health and wellness, um, but she actually has a new book out called Miracle Mindset. So I see JJ in the studio, and I'm going to welcome her. In just a few moments here, um, we're so happy to have you um, listening in today. Uh, the Wellness Coach is your oasis to slow down, tune in, and reboot. Find us on the web at portlandwellnesscoach.com. So I'm going to introduce JJ, my very special guest, JJ Virgin. She is a celebrity nutrition and fitness expert. She teaches clients how to lose weight and master their mindset so they can lead bigger and better lives. She is the author of four New York Times bestsellers, The Virgin Diet, The Virgin Diet Cookbook, J.J. Virgin's Sugar Impact Diet, and J.J. Virgin's Sugar Impact Diet Cookbook. Her memoir, Miracle Mindset, A Mother, Her Son, and Life's Hardest Lessons, explores the powerful lessons in strength and positivity that she learned after her son Grant was the victim of a brutal hit-and-run accident. J.J. hosts the popular J.J. Virgin Lifestyle Show podcast and regularly writes for Huffington Post, Rodale Wellness, and other major blogs and magazines. She's also a frequent guest on TV and radio and speaks at major events. I know I actually saw her at one of Lisa Sasevich's events. So, um, In addition to her work with nutrition and fitness, JJ is also a business coach and founded the premier health entrepreneur event and community, the Mindshare Summit. You can find articles, recipes, helpful on- online programs, and more on her website at jjvirgin.com. So on that note, I'm going to welcome JJ into the studio. And hi, JJ. How are you today? Thanks for being here. Good. Thank you. Hi. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I have to say, I just want to say that I did see you. I went to one of, well, virtually one of Lisa's events and you were one of her guest speakers so I was very impressed so it's my honor to have you here today and well, thank you. I know that you have yeah so you have a <laughs> I mean you you're known for health and wellness and you have four bestsellers and and now you have a new book out and it's called Miracle Mindset and I'm just going to um, briefly introduce that book and then I'll um, just ask you some questions about it um, so Miracle Mindset is a groundbreaking new book that covers seven powerful lessons. Um, So maybe, obviously you could say it better than I could, but it sounds like um, even though you're known for the virgin diet and sugar impact diet, and of course we're going to cover a little bit, um, not only mindset of course, but um, we're going to talk a little bit of maybe how fitness and nutrition are kind of factor into part of this miracle mindset and, and a little bit down the road here. But um, so your your son had to you had to find a new focus on mindset is that right and and also discover the power of courage and strength and resilience to help you not just survive but thrive during life's hardest moments and um, um, JJ so so miracle mindset it is a bit of a departure from your other bestsellers but so th- those are all focused on diet and nutrition but could you tell us. What inspired you to write Miracle Mindset? And I, I mean, I'd love to hear more about the story of of what happened with your your son and and what inspired you to write this book. So my son, and in, in fact, it, it's it's interesting because it seems like a departure, but the reality is, <laughs> you really can't, you know, be healthy and have wellness if you don't have you know a good healthy mindset, right? 
So right. it's actually, Absolutely. I look at it as like Absolutely. the third pillar, you know, nutrition, fitness, and, mm-hmm. and mindset. And last yeah. year when I asked my community, if you're not where you want to be in your health, why not? Thinking that they'd say sugar or gluten or something, you know, one of my <laughs> things. They said no. Um, and this is thousands of people responding going, I don't feel good enough. I don't feel worthy. I'm like, wow. Mm-hmm. Right? So, yeah. you yeah. know, the, the real there lesson, yeah, it's like wherever you think you are, your limitations mm-hmm. become your life. So you can't outrun your mm-hmm. mindset. And so true. I've, I've always yeah. been a student of nutrition and fitness since I was a teenager. But in my 20s, I had my very first mentor, and she was a personal development um, mentor. And so mm-hmm. it's really yeah. actually woven mm-hmm. into everything I do. And thankfully, with what happened with my son, it was in me because it's really – how we all managed to survive. And that's really the story is um, I'll, I'll explain what happened to him. But okay. as I went okay. through this for the last four and a half years, they kept going, how did you do it? And, and so that's what this book is. Mm-hmm. But oh, just as it. my uh, virgin oh, diet, okay. are we good yes, on time? Go just, just as my virgin oh, yeah. diet was getting ready to come out um, yes. a couple weeks before it. And I'm just to set it up, I'm the financial support for my family and I've invested everything mm. into this book. So like, you know, because mm-hmm. I thought this would be this big book out into the world. And my son mm-hmm. was out mm-hmm. for a walk, crossing the street, got hit by a car, which oh we'll never know what really happened because it was a hit and run. And okay. he was airlifted to the mm-hmm. local hospital where they told us when we got there, they said, you know, your son has a very serious, has very serious injuries. He has a torn aorta that kills 90 percent of the people right, usually right mm-hmm. on the scene. His oh was hanging goodness. on by an onion okay. skin. So they said it's going to rupture oh, sometime wow. in the next 24 hours. Then he had multiple brain bleeds, and that's what complicated everything because the typical way you fix an aorta is to put a stint in it, but you have to use a blood thinner, and if they'd done that, his brain would bleed out. So they said you'd mm-hmm. have to airlift him to a special, you know, a surgeon who can do this, but he's never going to survive this airlift. And even if he oh were, he, chances are he wouldn't survive the surgery. And even if he were to survive both those, he'll be so brain damaged it wouldn't be worth it. Mm-hmm. And my mm-hmm. other son, who was 15 at the time, oh. who's in the hospital with us, you know, with my son, like literally my son's got road rash down half his body, glass and gravel, bones sticking mm. through his skin. Oh, my gosh. You know, it, oh. it, it was, he looked at this doctor, my 15-year-old, and said, so like maybe a 0.25% chance he could make it. And the oh doctor said, my yep, gosh. sounds about right. Wow. And my 15-year-old, Bryce, looks at the doctor and says, we'll take those odds. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, Wow! I know. Like there's, <laughs> yeah, kids there's are kind of good for that right there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, kids kind of have it built into them. I think a lot of kids, and then yeah. It wow! Was, interesting. It was amazing. Yes. Yeah, so so that happened, and we overruled that doctor who was very upset with us. And I'm like, well, he'll he'll die mm-hmm. here no matter what. So we've got to have a chance, and we got mm-hmm. him to that other hospital, yeah. and had this amazing surgeon. We had five surgical teams working on him. And mm-hmm. he made it mm-hmm. through that surgery, and then he was in a deep, deep coma. And, I mean, a okay. deep, deep mm-hmm. coma. For, And that oh was gosh. when I was standing there looking at my son in a coma, thinking, all right, I've, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm here, you know, I'm not going yeah. anywhere. I'm going to help my son. And I literally looked at him and I said, Grant, you know, you're going to be 110%. We're all here. We're fighting for you. Wow. You've got to fight, mm-hmm. and we are going to make it through this. We can do this. I'm going to pull in every resource, and we're going to get through this. And mm. I said, your your brother loves oh. you, and he squeezed my hand. You know, he's supposed to be in a deep, oh, non-responsive wow. coma. Yeah, right? Wow, and then I said, uh, I said another name to see if he'd respond, and he didn't. And then I said, and your girlfriend, he's like totally enthralled with this girl. I said, your girlfriend loves you, and he <laughs> grabbed my hand and picked it up off the bed. And I went, he is in there. I said, oh, so you have to fight. Wow. Like you have to fight, wow. that, you know. And um, oh, we feel, just started mm. operating from this principle of, of you're going to be 110 percent, which mm-hmm. was a ridiculous okay. concept because you know he's he's got <laughs> broken femurs, bro- crushed heel. You know he's he's in a deep coma, um, and it's been a long four mm-hmm. and a half years to go through this um, mm-hmm. and to get him there. And the way you get someone back to that level or further than they were before is 1% mm. at a time, right? Little, wow, little, love by, little that. by little by little by little. It's so true. Um, so it true. is. But, but when I looked back, because 
You know, I mm-hmm. launched a New York Times bestseller bedside in the ICU with my, oh my son gosh. and later my son. Amazing. And I would sit there and tell him what I was doing you know, and talk to him because <laughs> I knew he could hear me. Mm-hmm. And he said later, he goes, yeah. the gray man asked me if, if I wanted to live or die, Mom. And, and I kept hearing oh your gosh. voice. So I told him I would live. Oh, so, oh wow. Um, That's just incredible. They can hear you. I've always believed they could hear you. So they can hear you. Important. No, when you um, say they, you mean what? Who they, you when mean, people are in comas, like when people. Yeah, where you, you mean know, the people that are Grant, in comas? Yes. Yeah, Grant tells stories about the hospital and what we were wearing and what we were doing. Oh he was my gosh! Not, you know, he was in a coma. That's just so. incredible. That's so. Yeah. It's just amazing. So I, I mean, there's, I mean, what, what, just the way you painted that the picture of that story is just um it's just so vivid and I can I really feel like I was you know can kind of have a feeling a sense of being there and um I, I JJ I want to go deeper with um so you you've talked you've talked about mindset and I and I don't want to get off topic but this kind of reminds me a little bit of um who are those you know Princess Leia and her mom Carrie Fisher um, mm-hmm. you know how her mom is almost not sounded like she, I mean, mindset is so powerful. Like you were saying, it's almost like she decided to go to be with yeah. her daughter. And I want to yeah. explore, I'm curious. So let's go deeper with what exactly is the miracle? What is the miracle part of the mindset and, and why does mindset matter? I mean, you've already covered this a little bit, but I really feel like there's, I mean, you know, to see, to kind of watch someone like, kind of like what your son went through and what all of you went through together and just kind of watch Carrie Fisher's mom kind of do that. I, there's definitely something there. And so why is it, it what yeah, exactly is the miracle isn't mindset? It? <laughs> it's fascinating. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it has been, I was always intrigued by near-death experiences too. I didn't really want to go mm-hmm. through it like this in comas, you know, it's like, well, mm-hmm. I didn't really want to participate mm-hmm. in one, but there are, it's all of that, like what, what's beyond, you know, it's always been super fascinating to me. And Grant did, he yeah. described what we were wearing in the waiting room while he was in surgery. And I'm like, okay, that's oh, incredible. Oh, wow. Like, that's oh, just wow. incredible. That's the again. And um, that is yeah, he is, this, he is not the same person as he was before the accident. It's, uh, it's, it's quite incredible to be around him. People just want to come up and touch him. He's like, what are they doing? I go, you're walking hope, honey. Um, uh, but I had to really that. sit uh. and look and go, what, like, how did we as a family get through this, you know, and yeah. what did it take? Because so many people mm-hmm. kept asking, and I always believe mm. success leaves clues. And, you know, when you think about mm, people yeah. out there who – are doing cool things in the world. Like I think of the people who I admire, who I aspire to. And the thing that I noticed with all of them is that they have been through stuff, right? Okay. They've been through challenges. Yeah. It's like, we don't grow when it's all, when it's, you know, sunny outside and everything's going our way. (laughs) Like, you know, right. It's kind of true. (laughs) It's, it's so, it's so interesting how that works, isn't it? So it's almost like challenge. Yeah. So, I mean, this is going to lead, I think, to the idea of the, the topic of resilience. But it's almost like, you know, people think of challenges as like, oh, like, oh, no, it's something I have to go through. But in, in, in fact, that's what makes you grow, right? Is that's what makes you challenges. who you are. And it's how you show up during those mm-hmm. times that ultimately okay. is determines everything. And so I, I looked okay. at this. I looked at other people who I thought were like just amazing. And I went, what is it? What is it? And it is that. Mm-hmm. And there's this. So there's a psychologist out of Stanford who created this coin this this word a growth mindset that there's two types mm-hmm. of, of mindsets one's fixed it's that person who's a victim life happens to him there's nothing you can do and then mm-hmm. there's the right. growth mindset you can build it you can develop it it's like a muscle and mm-hmm. that's yeah. the person who uh-huh. can take responsibility for their life they can even if there's the situation happening it's not it's not that i created these miracles out there and i you know i managed to bring my son mm-hmm. back from the dead it's how mm-hmm. we were mm-hmm. showing up in the moment and how we were able to oh, see these miracles around us because they were happening all okay. the time you know okay. and so i started to look at sense. like yeah. oh, okay yeah so if, if mindset's a muscle which means if you're mm-hmm. not building it since we're fitness people mm-hmm. guess what if it's not being developed and mm-hmm. exercised then what happens right mm-hmm. it's right shrinking. And, and ultimately mm-hmm. you're you're never going to be able to get 
bigger, show up bigger than whatever your mindset says. If you think you're not worthy or it won't work, whatever that, guess what? You'll be right. If you believe that it can be 110%, guess what? You'll be right, you know? So mm-hmm. it's really Jenny. about looking. Wow. Well, mm-hmm. So go ahead, I looked go ahead. at like no, the just, seven no. key attributes when I thought of okay. all these cool people. And resilience yeah. is a key one. And you brought it okay. up. And, you know, when you look at the research yeah. on resilience, the people mm-hmm. who've been through challenges and grown through them are actually happier and more successful. Hmm. Very interesting. I didn't know that. And, and I, I had to yeah. say, JJ, I, mean, I was just, I was just in, I'm just in awe because I can feel it from you. I mean, you're, you have that strength and that resilience, and, and I know that you kind of define, you kind of um, differentiate between the two. But I, I just feel this. You emanate this mindset and also this, this resilience. And you know, resilience is, is I, I, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, there's so much mm. we could talk about. Um, and I, I, yeah, we have just really briefly um, for anyone who's listening live. We are on air live until 3.30, and then we will go off air, but, we, but JJ and I will still have about 10 or 15 minutes to chat. So listen back um, in case um, you don't hear everything. But I just, there's so much, I just, you're, you have so much to say, I can tell. Like you're, I mean, I, I sense this when I, when I heard you talk at Lisa's, Lisa's event too. So go ahead, JJ. I didn't mean to cut you off. I just, um, <laughs> there's so much to cover. <laughs> I, just, I just want to say you emanate this. You emanate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. You know, what's been the most interesting on all of this is, uh, you know, mm-hmm. I have this book coming out, The Miracle Mindset. I did a documentary yeah. with it that actually the premiere of that oh, wow. just started today. Yes, we have an online oh. online movie premiere going on right now, which I'm super excited oh. about before it goes on to television. Um, oh, my gosh. Congratulations. So, thank you. What is that yes, called? That a, is that, is that the called, same... It's you are stronger than you think. You can actually go see oh. it at miraclemindset.com, and you can um, oh, watch awesome. it for free right now while we have it up. Um, oh wow! But I did. I wrote the book, That's and amazing. I did an audio book, and I did the movie, thinking, mm-hmm. you know, and people were saying, "Oh, this must be very healing and cathartic," and I'm like, <laughs> "It's not," <laughs> you know. Really? That was I was like going, "This mm-hmm. is not healing," and I mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then people started coming to me going, this is happening in my life. And, you know, right. my story is very specific. I mean, I went through like the, like what looked like insurmountable odds, the unthinkable. And, you know, there's, but the the point is there are people all over the place. I've been here too, where you feel like you're stuck in something or trapped um, mm-hmm. or you just right. don't, you just, you're just not inspired or, you know, just the things that come up that we have to handle all the time. They just seem overwhelming you know, or you just, feel like you should be in a bigger place in your life. And so I started to look at, all right, if we know our mindset's a muscle and we need to exercise it, what is it we need to do to grow mm-hmm, it and exactly, develop it? Right. And can we create okay, that? Yes. Like that's that's how I always roll. I'm like, all right, here's my jam. <laughs> we've got we've got <laughs> sugar issues. How do we create a simple process to get people to lose their sweet tooth? All right, so mm, we know we need to build yes. your mindset. It feels so intangible and and ephemeral and woo-woo like how do we bring it down to (laughs) science and how do we create specific steps so that you could turn around in a week and go oh my gosh like I haven't directly focused on weight loss or I haven't directly focused Mm -hmm. on my relationship but everything just improves Mm -hmm. like what the heck because when your mindset improves okay your life improves. It improves everything. Right? And oh, very interesting. Okay. I was just, yeah. yeah. Great point. I was so fortunate in that this was like deep in me to begin. Like I had been working yeah. on mindset for so many years and I'd gone through, like I was so fortunate to go through so many challenges in my life, which <laughs> created so <laughs> much growth and strength. It's like, how do you get stronger? Wow. You got to yeah. exercise it. Right now, it doesn't mean you have to go through what I went yeah. through, and that's the good yeah. news. Right? So, the good <laughs> news have is to be as so that mm. it doesn't have to be that way. Yeah. But there are practices mm-hmm. that you can do every day that take minutes that can help you push the fear out, that can help you handle okay. things, deal with overwhelm, and they're simple. Like one thing I did in the hospital mm-hmm. with Grant, because mm-hmm. we were in the hospital for four and a half months. Oh, gosh, and, you know, there were time. times in there where he, they didn't know if he was going to make it. You know, they were like, I don't think he'll ever wake up. He's not going to walk. I mean, all just doom and gloom and gloomy, right? And mm-hmm. I would, 
every morning get up and pull out, and I physically did this, I, and I still do it. I do it every day. I've been doing it for decades where I pull out a journal and I write down at least three things or three people that I'm grateful for. And, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. a lot of times I'll write a lot more than that, but I just at least get that done every single day. What am I grateful for? And Focus you know, gratitude. just doing mm-hmm. that, gosh, yeah, if you just, yeah. it, it's amazing how it just kind of shoves fear out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so and, you know, I think it's really. I think um, doesn't Brene? How do you say her name? Brene Brown. She think she talks about this. How yeah. when you feel that intense fear, focus on gratitude because it can help yeah. pull you through it. And I think there's really something to that. And I so I really appreciate you reminding reminding us of that. And I remember also, um, you know, when you were kind of talking about, you know, we can either feel like we're victims, or there's a phrase for this. You can either think of life as you can either respond to life as ow, like you know, like it's it's like somehow hurting you or affecting you or or wow like i wow i can this is amazing isn't aren't these all these challenges amazing so um i yeah, just and, thank you for and those, what's important those in the moment reminders. is yes you know in the moment when things are really dark you probably won't look at it and go wow <laughs> I so much, yeah, that's really true. You know? that is true. I mean, that is true. I want people to really get mm. that, like, I wasn't standing in the hospital going, "This is, he's going to have a big purpose in life now. Like, that wasn't happening. Um, mm-hmm. It was everyday management okay. of big fear in dark places. But wow. when, yeah. though, when it's that level, that's when you really have to dig deep and go, okay, what it, it's, that's when things like, what am I grateful for saved you? When I would okay. go every okay. day and I'd look at him and I'd say, Got it. what things happen today? Like we right. do this every single night. Um, my fiance and I are like, what are, what are the wins for today? What were the good things that mm-hmm. happened today? And mm-hmm. it, even if you had the crappiest day ever, you can <laughs> always find there's three always things. That were, there's always something, something. <laughs> Oh, JJ, I thank you so much for this this reminder. I think that really helps and kind of I really love how you break it down to, you know, being in the moment and and how to manage that fear as you said it to kind of paraphrase what you said. Manage that fear in the moment and and break it down and it's um because it, that's how it does it can feel very overwhelming when we're deep into something and you know, I was going to ask you like, you know, what do you say to someone who feels like they couldn't do what you did? It, you know, if they ha- if they're going through a major crisis, is that what you what you would say to people is is to focus on gratitude and like you know, you know here's the living thing in the moment. That I've, yeah. If you'd asked me that before this situation, if you said, hey, <laughs> so you are going, your son's going to be teetering between life and death, and you're going to have to make sure your business still goes as well because you all have to pay for everything. So you're going to get to launch a New York Times bestseller bedside while he's in a coma. I go, there's no way that I can possibly do that. <laughs> you know, like wow. I've been, yeah. no way. But the thing is, and this is huh. the title of the documentary, is you are stronger okay. than you think. You're stronger than you think. But what you really <sighs> want to do, and I know in health, selling prevention is always one of the toughest things ever, but putting mm. in place mm-hmm. now, like, hmm. it, like we all know we need to exercise, and a lot of us are doing that on a regular basis because we know that if you don't use it, you lose it, and it's the same with your mm-hmm, mindset. Right. And so yes. it can be as okay. simple as just doing the gratitude work, those simple things. Doing the, the gratitude work, like, yeah. Doing, the, doing the, okay. that simple thing. One other thing that I made sure okay. that I did was I reached out and asked for help. And okay. I it came in droves and it was amazing and I'm never had asked for help before not a place I like to be very vulnerable and you know I'd rather give people support than help <laughs> than ask for help but um mm, interesting yeah like love, allowing you know, yourself people, to receive yeah and you know it's interesting and so it's I keep thinking about how much I love to do things for other people and I'm like well wouldn't they love to do things back? Like, and the answer is yes. <laughs> so you kind of got to go both possible? ways here. <laughs> yeah, gosh, but it does. Enough. That's the, that's what's beautiful about life is that it it does, and it's when we can get into that flow and that synchronicity, even when it's challenging. I mean, that's what I really hear you saying is that it sounds to me like there was a lot of synchronicity happening as well. I mean, to, you know, everything that Grant was experiencing and that you were experiencing like on his end and also your end in terms of being there for him, but then also what was happening with your book launching, there was a lot of synchronicity going on. And it's like kind of when we let go of that control, like life is so much bigger. It's, 
it's so much bigger and then it's also but the way we can respond like in the in the very concrete ways of approach like showing up with courage versus reacting with fear right like that small yeah. shift doesn't and that just the change everything uh, yeah i <laughs> love the whole uh, like fear and courage conversation because i think there's mm-hmm. this whole idea that we should be fearless and i completely disagree <laughs> with that because i think that's ridiculous huh. like <laughs> We're going to feel fear. Like, I feel fear right. every day. In fact, yeah. I think that if yeah. you're not feeling fear, you're probably playing okay. too small. And you see a lot oh, of people who are avoiding fear, and they're in what I call they're comfortably dissatisfied, right? They're, like, not going to oh. get out of their comfort zone, but they're not really happy really there. Good. But they don't want yeah. to get but scary to go out there, so they'll just stay here, <laughs> right? Oh, in JJ, place, so They're not good. really yes. happy. Yeah, yeah. So, Mm. you know, if you want to bigger thing, Mm. it's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be scary. But you know what's cool about the the, um, emotion of fear is it actually Mm. is a very short-lived, it's this biochemical response that kind of hits your body for about 90 seconds, and it's through. So you just ride it. Mm -hmm. Love it. And it it, it will will dissipate. Okay. It'll yeah. it'll dissipate and you know okay. you build resilience because you've got courage. I call it mindset CPR. Like first first oh, you you got to have yeah. that courage to step into that fear, and then you have a purpose mm-hmm. that okay. pushes you through because you'll sit there and go, oh my gosh, no, I don't want to do it. But the purpose the purpose behind it will keep pushing you through, and you do that repeatedly, and you build this resilience. And every time you do that. That mm-hmm. comfort zone expands, you your courage okay. expands, and your resilience gets mm-hmm. stronger, and you can just handle more stuff. You know, it's not that stuff goes away, okay, you know. I mean, mm-hmm. come on, right. don't we know for sure that we're going to have stuff happen? Like, <laughs> things are going to come up, right? <laughs> yeah, it, just, <laughs> it happens yeah, it's, every hour, just about, really, if you think about it. Exactly. Like, every day, there's you know, be a few, it's, for a number of things are going to happen. <laughs> A number of things. They just yeah. are. And it's how you <laughs> show up and you handle them. You know, in my book, <sighs> the first um, the first page I quoted Elizabeth Gilbert, I just, I'd like such a girl mm. crush on her. And <laughs> I don't know if you've seen this quote. Um, this is her quote. It says, the woman okay. who I love and admire for their strength and grace did not get that way because things worked out. She actually said something besides <laughs> things, but I decided not to swear in my book. They got that way because things went wrong and they handled it. They handled it in a thousand different ways uh, on a thousand different days, but they handled it. Those women are my superheroes. Mm, like I just love, love that. And that's that's the thing. Yeah. It's how you show up. And how you show up is okay. is your mindset. And your mindset is is you then just realizing this is something just like brushing your teeth, just like you know, okay. flossing, got it. like working yeah. out that you have to do to build it. It's not just going to be there. Mm-hmm. So, you know, gratitude's a big one, forgiveness. There's a ton of research out okay. now on, um, like, the school shootings and which kids handled the best and got the least PTSD were kids who mm-hmm. actively understood and did gratitude, who were active in their forgiveness. Um, forgiveness. And okay, so gratitude and forgiveness. forgiveness. Yeah. Okay. Gratitude mm-hmm. and forgiveness and resilience, these are all lots of science behind these things. But when I looked at, like, what are the real attributes that would make this up? It's gratitude, resilience, being able to be in the present moment, which means you can see those little wins all day long. You know, like, uh, you okay. look at it and go, there's so many things on a regular basis that are just little miracles, and we just miss them. Right. We miss them. It's so true. We and yet there's an opportunity there. It's an opportunity to go deeper with life. And even when it's hard, because that's that's actually where a lot of, the, like you were saying, the good stuff comes from. And um, so we're we're about to go off the live off the air. Um, I would love to do some takeaways. But first, JJ, can you tell everyone where can they find your book for those who are listening live? And then we'll take a really short break and come back and wrap up with some takeaways and kind of like those light bulb moments how people can get started. Um, I think you were kind of covering some of that already, but it's always nice to, There's, I mean, you, you're a, a tre- treasure trove of wisdom. So, um, JJ, where can people find your book, um, The Miracle Mindset? Miracle Mindset. So Miracle Mindset's um, on Amazon. It'll be coming out on the 21st of February, so you can pre-order it now. Okay. And then we also just awesome. literally turned on the premiere, and it will be uh, live okay. for about a week, and you can see that Perfect. at miraclemindset.com. 
Okay, wonderful. Um, thank you so much. So we're going to take a really short break. Um, for those listening live, thank you so much for listening. Definitely um, listen back to the podcast. I'm going to chat with JJ for just a few more minutes here, and um, we'll be right back. You're listening to The Wellness Coach on Block Talk Radio. everyone. Welcome back. You're listening to The Wellness Coach on Blog Talk Radio. I'm your host, Edie Summers, and my very special and awesome guest today is author, best-selling author, and um, much more, uh, J.J. Virgin. She, um, of course, has many um, New, York, New York Times bestsellers already, um, and including The Virgin Diet and The Sugar Impact Diet. She's known for that. Um, and she's also known for um, really empowering people in health and wellness. And um, and I, I know we talked about that a little bit today, JJ. Um, um, she also has a new book out now. It's called Miracle Mindset. It's a groundbreaking new book that covers the seven powerful lessons that she learned after her 16-year-old son, Grant, was in a brutal hit-and-run accident. And JJ, we have just a few moments here, but... Um, I don't know if you – I'm going to leave this up to you, what you would like to cover. If you want to talk about some of those lessons, I think we already covered some of those. We did talk about resilience. I mean, there's just so much we could talk about. But um, are there – you know, did you ha- are, do you want to talk about any more of those um, seven lessons that are in your book or maybe some of the light bulb moments that you had? Or, or how can maybe people get started? I know that we covered some of that, too, with – you know, focusing on so gratitude, who's this, focusing who's this on audience forgiveness. And I'll, I'll figure out the best you know, thing to You know, I think people know. are, I mean, interested in, I mean, they're listening because it's you, um, health and wellness, I would say, uh, probably self-development, things of that nature. So it's, yeah, what are maybe some key takeaways that, you know, I, I think people are probably listening because they've probably been through something challenging, um, whether or not it's health or health or wellness related, but like you were kind of saying that it's, you know, whether it's related to health or wellness or something else, I mean, we're all going to face those challenges. So how do you really, you know, how do you, I think, I guess what are, I mean, maybe we already covered this, but maybe what are some of those first steps to, because I think you can, it's, it, I think people feel overwhelmed when, when you're kind of in the trenches. I'm going to walk, I love how so you what I will saying. do is walk people through this. Yes. I'm going to walk people okay, through perfect. what you yeah. can do five minutes a day, and I'm going to issue a challenge. Because I've got something that you can do in five minutes a day that if you do this for a week and you go back and you look at and you rate your satisfaction, like at the beginning of the week you look at and you go, how Mm -hmm. satisfied am I on a scale of one to ten in Mm -hmm. my relationships, you know, my key relationships, in my business or career, in my financial situation, and in my health, okay? And then... What you do is for one week, and this literally will take five minutes a day. And in the morning, everyone has five minutes. And, and this is, I know everybody has five minutes. I'm so used to doing these things in health, where it's like all you have to do is like all you're doing is you're going to just, you know, add in this burst training three times a week. It's only going to take four minutes. You know, so I'm like really quick yeah. swaps because I know that if you sit there, yeah. okay, now an hour a day for the next week, it's like come on, no one's doing that. Just contemplate so, that can psych you out. Yeah. So. Yeah. But anyone, you know, this is five minutes. And so what you do yeah. is, again, okay. first thing in the morning, you get a journal, and it needs to be written because there's, there is okay. a little neurological hookup when you put your pen to your paper that activates mm-hmm. your brain. So okay. first Love thing that you're going to do every morning, three things or three people that you are grateful for. So quite often it is my kids and my 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 fiance, my kids, my team. A lot of times I'll mention my doggy, um, who's on my lap right now. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, so my sweet. I know she's so cute. Love she plays that. a starring role, by the way. In um, you are stronger than oh. you think. She's oh. she's a little camera hog for the documentary, but um, so that's <laughs> I'm gonna have to check that out for a week. <laughs> 
yeah, it's so okay. it's awesome. so super cute. It's ridiculous, but um, <laughs> is that you do that every single morning? Again, you can okay. write more. You can write more people. You can yeah. spend more time, but it, it, just commit to three so you make sure you get it done. Then okay, review with someone, your kids, your partner, your know, accountability partner, and three things that are little wins for the day. I like to think of them as little miracles. Three little three things that happened that day that were just okay. you know. They were wins, like what good things happened today. Mm -hmm. And then Mm -hmm. some point during the day, it's probably likely that something will irritate you (laughs) or make you angry. (laughs) As we were were just mentioning. And maybe more than once. Maybe more than once. Right? (laughs) You know, just guessing. I'm just just throwing it out there. And so if that were to happen to you, um, what I would recommend (laughs) here is that you take – you think of someone who – you want to tell them something, you know, that you appreciate about them, you know, how grateful you are to have them in your life, whatever. And so shoot them a little text, you know. And nice. sometimes like it's that. just one of my yeah. one of my girlfriends, and I'll just tell her I just flip and love her, you know, boom. And, mm. boy, you know, when you do yeah. that, too, you get a 10x back on it. And it is amazing. Mm-hmm. That, will sh- that will shift your state right there, that thing. Um, but okay. I just – you do that for a week, and then you look back and you go, all right, how am I feeling in all these areas? Because it's so interesting. Okay. You know, your limitations become your life. What you tolerate becomes your life. Who you hang out with becomes who you are. And as you start to okay. shift this stuff, it's like mm-hmm. everything starts to shift. And But you have to, to do. You know, we, we try to think our way through things. And the fastest okay. way to get through things is move your feet. So that's why it's like I want you okay. to physically write it down, to text it, yeah. to talk to someone and share it because now you're actually doing, right, and it may change mm-hmm. everything. Mm. What great advice. And I really – and it's and it sounds – these are these are these are um, small steps that anyone can do, but it's but it has it has large, really big implications because as everyone wants to to feel free and, and not feel chained to fear and to experience this this mindset which is available to anyone. It's just you know allowing yourself to take the steps, like right the baby steps to get there. And so I I really love those steps, JJ and. Um, I, I, so, so JJ, do you have any last words of encouragement or advice or takeaways or, you know, just for, for someone listening, um, you know, I always love to end kind of like on a message of hope, although that was very (laughs) positive right there on a high note, although that was very positive right there. And, and I just want to say, just thank you so much. This is really, I think this is, um, just really invaluable, um, um, just wisdom for people. So. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. And yeah, um, yeah. So. I just think it's so fantastic to think that we can actually change our lives purely through doing small things every single day that up level our mindset. Mm-hmm. And it's I've mm-hmm. done this now with. Okay. Uh, we took a f- group through 150 people through this to see if I was right because I was like, if this is true, <laughs> this is going to be amazing, and it it works <laughs> like a charm. So, you know, if you're feeling, you know, just at the at least if you're just feeling stuck in that comfortably unsatisfied position, which I think, is just, you know, it's like ugh, so many people are stuck there, or mm-hmm. yeah. you just feel like, gosh, things are just coming at you so fast and you just can't handle them. Just, just. Trust me and try this. It's just a week. Mm. It's five minutes. Okay. It'll take, that means 30 total minutes of your time. You know, do it five to seven days and and then reflect back and see. And I think you're going to be blown see where away. You are. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it, JJ. And I so appreciate um, the, I, I feel that motivating force coming from you. And, and it, I mean, doesn't, I, I would assume that this does, is good, actually affects you know, is going to affect your neuro, what they call neuroplasticity and literally yeah. change like those health Uh-oh. habits too, like that are kind of in your neurocircuitry. And then, but it, then it's also, I love, thank you so much for talking about, you know, like difficult times and, and how you can build resilience and, and strength and have that courage and, and remind the great reminders for gratitude and, and forgiveness. Even I didn't even think about how powerful that is and and really focusing on what's going right um Mm -hmm. and just giving the hope yeah we have got a really good indicator right now in our country of focusing on what's not right we're like really good at that (laughs) and it's really not doing much for us (laughs) 
<laughs> right, exactly. We're kind of so we can we look right now and go, stuck. that's not working very yeah. well, is it? Right. Right, right. We've kind of, it's kind of like, I mean, for lack of a better phrase, it's kind of like beating a dead horse. So, yeah, it would be, it, it seemed the time is ripe to try something new. And because everyone is craving that, that freedom, I believe, that comes with having that, that kind of invincible state of mind, um, you know, where that's where possibility lies. That's what it feels like to me. So, mm-hmm. and I just, I thank you so much for being a leader in that. And so, um, JJ, I just, so I'm going to, JJ, I'm going to put your, I didn't know that you had a, a movie out too. So I'll put that on the show page. And um, so do you want to remind everyone again for where they can find your book? And then, so the website for your book, you said it's on Amazon. Um, and then your website is jjvirgin.com. jjvirgin.com. I mean, and you can get yeah, to the premiere and, there ahead. too, obviously. Oh, you perfect. Know, we've got everything okay. up there. Um, and okay. then Miracle Mindset, I think dot com forward slash register, but you, all those will get you. Okay. Every every road's going to lead there. So wonderful. Okay, and I can't wait to see it. I'll go watch it. Um, I didn't even know yes. that you were doing that. Let me know that, what you think. So congratulations, yeah. absolutely. It's a long long um, road to make that one. <laughs> oh, so. gosh, congratulations. Um, I'm just you know it's just you're such a blessing and also so inspiring and so. Um, there's, I mean, there's so much more, JJ, that we could talk about, but um, I want to, you know, you're welcome back anytime, and just congratulations again, and thank you so much for holding that space for us and encouraging us, not only in health and fitness, but now also in mindset, and I, I love how you say that they're kind of like, you know, they're the pillars of of kind of living well, so um, yeah, um, thank you so much for being here, and um, thank you everyone so much for listening, and go and check out um, JJ's new book, Miracle Mindset, and also your movie. And again, um, JJ, what's your movie called again? Or how do you, is it a documentary or a movie? Or um, it is called You Are Stronger Than You Think, You're and it perfect. is the story <laughs> behind all of this. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh wow! So, so it is it's like a documentary. the lessons, and yeah, it's a documentary wow. of it. But we wove oh all the gosh. lessons in, so it's sort of like the movie The Secret meets. Okay, um, got it. You know, meets Rudy, meets ER. That's how you describe it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> love that. And I, I mean, I can only imagine how much much work went into that. But I mean, how amazing to share your story on in on two different ways. And um, thank you so much. And I'll definitely put that on the show page, JJ. And we're getting very close to the end here. So I want to um, just thank you so much for being here. And like I said, you're welcome back anytime. And um, everyone, thank you so much for listening. And, J.J., um, I wish you all good things moving forward, and thank you so much for being such an inspiration. Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> thank you. Take care. And, everyone, Wynna, thank you so much for listening. You've been listening to The Wellness Coach on Block Tech Radio. We hope you have an inspired and empowered and beautiful rest of your day and life. Um, take care. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.